Fans were shocked when Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello announced they were splitting. But was their marriage doomed from the start? Here's how Manganiello's troubling past may have driven a wedge between the two. It's been a sad summer for love. On July 17, 2023, Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello released a statement that said they were dissolving their seven-year marriage. According to court documents obtained by TMZ, celeb attorney Laura Wazza filed the papers, which also revealed the existence of a prenuptial agreement. According to People, children were at the center of the childless couple's stress. A source told the outlet, he really wanted to have a baby with her, and she wasn't interested, and it caused a rift. A different insider revealed that Vergara and Manganiello were incompatible in lesser ways as well, telling people, They differ immensely in style and what they like to do, although during the marriage, each tried to put the other's interests ahead of their own to make it work. According to the Daily Mail, Joe Manganiello's dedication to remaining sober may have formed a wedge between him and Sofia Vergara, who actively indulges in alcohol. It's a big thing, a source told the outlet. Of course, the fact that Sofia is not sober had an impact on their marriage. He was warned about this when he started dating her, and again before marrying her. He did not think that he was going to change her, but he also didn't think about the implications this could have on their marriage. Like everyone else's life, you know, I've had a lot of things that haven't gone right for me. An insider also suggested that Vergara could not have been more supportive of Manganiello's efforts, but ultimately her encouragement was undercut by her decision to openly drink around him. As addiction specialist nurse Katrina Peterson told the Daily Mail, that sort of stress and pressure will eventually build up and start affecting other areas of your daily life. If she was drinking in front of him, which she did and flaunted on her Instagram, or if she kept alcohol in the house, that is a problem. Peterson then added, she was dangling a carrot in front of him. The only difference is that this carrot can destroy everything that he has and everything that he loves about his life. In 2013, Manganiello shared with HuffPost how detrimental drinking had been to his life. He told the outlet, my life was ruined. I was homeless, careless, and broke with no career. So yes, it was worth it to get sober. Due to Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello's demanding lives, it seems the couple may have drifted apart. We're both always doing something, so we understand it. A source claimed to Entertainment Tonight that they had been living separate lives amid the split. The same source went on to add, Vergara and Manganiello have been spending time apart and focusing on themselves, their careers, and their loved ones. Sofia has been giving her all to a new beauty brand, Tati, and is very involved and excited about it. Manganiello has also been busy with his upcoming projects, including the film The Kill Room, which he's set to star in alongside Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman, and Maya Hawke. Sadly, the prenuptial agreement Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello signed before they tied the knot in 2015 is coming in handy. When the couple was preparing for their big day, the modern family actor revealed on The Howard Stern Show that there was zero pushback from either party when the topic of a prenup was broached. Vergara recalled, Manganiello said, do whatever you want, I'll sign whatever you want. While both actors are successful in their own right, Vergara has that sweet network television residual money from the popular ABC sitcom, inflating her current net worth to an estimated $180 million. According to court documents obtained by People, Vergara and Manganiello's personal assets from before, during, and after the marriage were separated, as in accordance with their prenup. The divorce filing stated this included income, miscellaneous jewelry, and other personal effects. 